Hey everybody, this is Cliff from Speed Curve, and today I'm going to actually take you through the first and third party dashboard, show you a little bit about what that's all about. Uh, so if you look at my screen here, you can see uh, for this site, I'm measuring you know, a lot of the top sites looking at target.com. Uh, for this example, you can see a breakdown um, on the dashboard between first and third party long pass requests as well as size. Uh, as you continue scrolling down here, you can see the different request groups that are there. We've got this big bucket of unrecognized third parties. And we're going to talk about how to take care of that in a second, uh, as well as known third parties that we've already identified on your site. Um, we've got, again, the JavaScript CPU, the long task versus the other tasks. Uh, we've got different request by request type. So for double click and others, we can see JavaScript requests as well as HTML, as well as CSS fonts, etc. Uh, and then the size for those different assets as well. Um, here we can see in that unrecognized block of third party, most of that's JavaScript at about one meg um, and then some fonts as well. Uh, as we scroll down, we've got the scrubber for the film strip embedded in our waterfall, which is great. And you can see we've grouped um, those different known third parties in those light gray boxes there, uh, allowing us to look at those third parties and first parties uh, together. Um, this group of unrecognized third parties, it looks like, is coming from uh, an image domain, or sorry, not an image domain, a secondary domain uh, for target. Uh, so those really should be considered first party. So the first thing we're going to do is take care of that. Um, and then we can see that we've got a lot of other third parties here, all of which look to be performing pretty well. I don't have any jumping out uh, that are you know, showing really long task time or excessive size or number of requests. Uh, this one here is at about 53 milliseconds, which is three milliseconds over 50, which designates it as a long task. So we're gonna go ahead and say track that over time. And in a second, we're gonna show you what that does. Okay, now that we've kind of walked through the waterfall, seeing how the third parties are grouped, uh, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup to make this a little bit more effective for managing your third and first party content. I just went into settings and you can see we've got first party designated here, target.com, which is the base URL. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a domain and put in that asset domain that we were talking about earlier. And in addition, in addition to tracking uh, known third parties, like the one that we have tracked from the, the dashboard, you can add different request groups. So I'm actually gonna add a custom request group here uh, to track this bundle that looked to be attributing a lot of time to long tasks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use some wildcards here just in case the, uh, the asset domain changes again. And now I'm going to go ahead and say add. So what I've done is I've created a custom request group. We're also tracking that, uh, that third party that we've identified on the other page that we want to look at over time. Uh, and we've included the assets target image one.com domain in our first party domains. Uh, so in one second, I'm going to actually show you what that looks like after a few tests have run and we start tracking that history. Okay. And we're back. So a couple of tests have run since we made those changes and I wanted to show you what the dashboard looks like now. So when we go back to the dashboard, you can see that the things that we started tracking, the known third party, as well as the custom JavaScript bundle, that uh, customer request group that we created for first party content uh, is now at the top of your page and being tracked. So we've got long tasks, blocking requests, uh, and size that we're showing there, as well as our original breakdown between first and third party. You can see that the first party um, JavaScript time has jumped up because of the fact that we've moved that secondary domain into a first party domain. So that's now being tracked correctly. Uh, same thing with number of requests and the size as before. Um, we can see that that uh, unrecognized group of third parties is now uh, much smaller. It's uh, all the way down here. Um, and we can also see that that JS bundle that we created is really uh, taking the majority of the time uh, in long task time uh, for all that first party content. So it's a really good one for us to keep tracking. Um, okay, so now that we've got all those custom request groups in and the third parties that we're tracking, we can look at the waterfall and start to see how that's grouped as well. So here's that JS bundle. Um, again, you know, a lot of long task time there uh, for that uh, specific bundle that's been, been running. So we're going to um, watch that closely, and we can also see you know, that we are tracking history 
uh, for that specific third party who in this run didn't have any uh, associated long test time really. So uh, not so bad. Uh, if we jump over to our favorites dashboards, I created a uh, couple of examples of how you can use this data going forward. So here's your first versus third party requests. Um, here I've set a performance budget for that third party that had excessive CPU. I went ahead and set the total CPU time there because there are several requests uh, just to make sure that that stays uh, below 100. Um, I actually set up another performance budget for that specific JS bundle, which is uh, being uh, crossed right now. So I set it for 1,000 milliseconds. Hopefully uh, you, they could be working on that to get that down much, much lower. Um, and I'm also comparing that to all the other first party tasks. So you can see that uh, the time that's being spent uh, in JavaScript execution for that specific bundle is the majority of the time for all the JavaScript long tasks on the page. That's it. Hopefully this was useful and we'll talk to you next time.